To get on to the recent NXT releases, there are a number of people released by the WWE, particularly from the NXT brand earlier this week. The biggest name, as it were, is actually a non-wrestler, referee Drake Wirtz, I believe his name is. That's the, the note I've got here. Who has been, who's a bit of a conspiracy theorist. For example, he has claimed recently that masks make it easier to abduct and abuse children. I don't get where he's coming from. Either way, he's gone. Now, he will likely claim that he was released from the WWE due to controversial views such as those. I've asked and I've been told this isn't true. He was released because he's a dick. That's what I was told. The biggest name outside of him would be Alexander Wolf. He was close to being released in the past, but instead joined Imperium because essentially Volta reached out and said, I would prefer to have him here. That's, uh, that's on Volta's back. And he apparently was very, very happy. And so was the WWE and NXT in general to see Alexander Wolf uh, producing to the level that he was able to produce upon joining Imperium. With Wolf's recent injury and the fact that Imperium themselves are relatively fractured and scattered, he was considered at this point unusable. Now, this is not the first time that someone has been released essentially due to injury. I've spoken about this before that I believe this was coming. It has now happened. NXT officials believe that the other talent that have been released are simply not ready yet for the spotlight of WWE and WWE NXT. They don't want people that young at this juncture. They would prefer those people to go away to the indies, come back when they've got a bit of experience. WWE, as we know, are hiring older wrestlers now because they want the experience under their belt. That said, right now the WWE are actively holding tryouts to fill the gaps created by those they are releasing. They are offering in these tryouts less money than they were paying to the people that they have chosen to release.